Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial! Today, I'll be painting a dolphin swimming uh, swimming in the ocean. <laughs> so I'll be doing something quite different from, you know, different from my usual ones. And I think I'll be using a few colors today that are not really basic, but uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, the colors that I'll be using today are generally available in the stores. So, I mean, from the stores or from craft stores. So we have olive green, black, burnt sienna, yellow, light brown, primary blue, and titanium white. So all the colors that I just mentioned are listed in the description box below. So go check them out if you find my speaking quite fast so that you can simply go back to them anytime you want. So I'm gonna underpaint first my canvas and the underpainting will be the colors of the water. So I won't be changing the underpainting because some people change the underpainting. Uh, I mean, use other color for the underpainting, but I'll be using colors of the waters for my underpainting. And for that, I'll be using a little bit of uh, primary blue, white, black, and olive green. So maybe this color, maybe this, it's quite green. So I'll be adding a little more blue so it's like turquoise, but a little muddy because of the presence of black. I'll be adding a little bit of brown. I want it toned down. All right, like this, and maybe a little more black. The underpainting should be a little more dark. Maybe this color, right? So I'll be using it straight away. And you have to, I mean, in my case, I have to really move my hand really fast because my paints dry quickly, I mean, relatively quickly. I'll be getting my black. I really want to darken this portion. black and white this time just mix it with the turquoise color that we already have here and as you can see also as well I'm moving my brush in a horizontal, uh, yeah, horizontal way so that we follow the movements of water I'll be getting some gray so using black and white um, okay, more black and I used it on top of the turquoise color so that we have um, we have consistency in terms of colors here even if we don't really see it like too much too obviously uh, it's still there I'll be using a little bit of gray. Also up here. Now if you're asking if you need to move fast, just like me, uh, not really. As I told you, the reason why I'm painting fast is, I mean, I'm doing this quickly is because of my acrylics dry pretty quick. Now, if you're going to advise me to use a retarder, I'm not going to do that because I want to make things as simple as possible. If I can do it quickly, why not? Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna gray even more the lower portion. And of course, sorry about the noise. I'm going to put another layer of this color, maybe more black. like that okay and then I'm gonna layer the upper portion with some more gray so I'm I'll be getting my white and black okay. like this gray and I'm just gonna relayer this upper portion of the water I'm retaining the horizontal brush strokes. And as you can see, I'm trying to be a little loose because we want to underpaint. The goal is to underpaint first, okay, so that we already see the general view of the painting. Now using this light gray color, I'm just going to spread some of that color down here, but I'll be moving in a uh, like random but still uh, horizontal motion. Like this. We're adding some highlights now, but still retaining horizontal brush strokes. So that's basically the underpainting for the waters. We'll be going back to the waters later. Okay, for now, let's just allow it first to dry. I'm gonna sketch the dolphin, and after doing the dolphin, we go back to the waters because it's, I, I uh, think the paint will be much more dry compared to this time because you know it's still really wet. So for the dolphin sketch, I'm just gonna use a small brush a small pointy brush actually it doesn't really matter you can even use a pen if you want but me i'm just gonna use i don't usually use pen or pencil for sketching or even chalk mm, what's this so i'm just gonna use um, burnt sienna to sketch my dolphin so using burnt sienna we're just gonna identify where the dolphin is gonna go so it's um what do you call that? Like it's not underwater really. It's um, it's swimming. <laughs> Good. I can't describe. So again, this is just um, the sketch. I I will try my best not to. Uh, resketch it but if ever I commit a mistake it's all right okay. just like that it's like a tiny rock okay. and, then, and we're 
we're going to add the fin. Is that the fin? like that. Okay. I'm going to make it a little fat. And I'm so sorry about the noise. If you can hear it in the background, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> because, you know, right in front of uh, the condominium building is a street, a <laughs> main street, actually. Anyway, so this will be the shape of the dolphin that is visible uh, while the dolphin is swimming. It doesn't make sense at the moment, but later it will. It's just a sketch. So now I'm gonna get a relatively bigger brush compared to the sketch brush that I use. I'm just gonna use this kind of brush. I don't know if to some of you it matters, but well, to me, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> when I was still, you know, when I was still starting as an artist and I would watch other, peop other people or other artists paint, I. You know, I really didn't care about the brush that they're using, even the brand, I don't care, really, in all honesty. Because what I'm focusing, what I was focusing more on was how they were doing it. I mean, just observing the brush strokes because this can be achieved even when you're using other tools. It doesn't have to be the tools that they're actually using. So I really trained myself not to be dependent on copying uh, exactly what the other artists are doing it is more of achieving the results that I want even if I was using different tools and different methods you know what I mean like I hope it resonates with you I hope you get what I mean by this um, I mean tutorials are meant to teach you something if tutorials are making you dependent on the tutorials to create something then it doesn't it actually defeats the purpose of it i hope i'm making sense anyway let's underpaint the dolphins so for that i'll be using my brown and black so i'm gonna use this color to just go ahead i'll be using Okay, more black. Okay, a little adjustment right there. Right, just like that. And using some brown and yellow. Oops, sorry. Same brown. Right here. So I'm just going to underpaint this um, dolphin using some light browns, I mean dark brown, sorry, not light brown. Okay, let's see underpainting and then let's color. This. 
I'm not really painting over the sketch line just yet because I want to remember where I'm placing the markings. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna get some gray. So I think we already had some grays earlier. So I'm just gonna make some more grays. I'll be adding a little bit of brown to be consistent with the wholeness of the color. I'll be painting it with some light gray. So here. Okay, and using this, I'll be highlighting. the head I'll be getting my white and brown okay just a little highlight on the on the fin okay just like that I'll be getting some browns and yellows like this I'll be adding white more brown. Okay, maybe this. Okay. You know how much I love touching my paints, right? I mean, for those who only who are only hearing this for the first time from me, well, I love to touch my paint. I love to use my fingers and touch the paint. Um, connect to it because I feel like my hands can blend more than the brush it's just my opinion and by observation as well I've observed that my hands are really good at blending all right I'm gonna allow this first to dry I don't want to focus on this too much just yet because the paint is still wet let's go back to the waters just like I promised Remember when I told you that when the dolphin sketch is done, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go back to the waters. So I'm getting my black. Using black, let's start defining some water um, patterns. So this will be where the dolphin is surfacing. Okay, and then I'll be creating some markings very quick because i really want to do the rough sketch of things first before i move on to doing the details i think i'll be using my palette knives so get your palette knives ready i always have my palette knives my palette knife with me because um i use that to get some paint sometimes it's better to have it with me like all the time I'm gonna darken this fin since I already have my black paint on my brush I might as well go to the to go back to the fin because it's already dry anyway all right let's just create more markings all right again just using black i'm going to create some shadows
I'm going to get my brown. I'm going to add light brown. adding black I'm also darkening the brown that's why it's a different shade of brown to get my gray again white and black so more I mean more black to make it darker gray and let's go back to this area this markings And then using white while we're at it already, I'm going to go and make some highlights. Remember to keep it horizontal. It's really noisy outside. I cannot believe that they're playing loud music. Oh my gosh. Anyway, just keep using white. I hope they stop soon. And to be honest, I don't know what time we're gonna finish with this one. Um, this is actually my first time to teach a dolphin, uh, so I'm really not sure. It's very preliminary, so if it's not making sense at the moment, don't worry and don't be, or don't get frustrated. Just like that. You know, it's Saturday here and the weather is really nice. So I think people <laughs> are quite having a party at this early. Uh, if you're used to having parties at night, well, they can have parties here anytime they want. I actually don't uh, like noise. Um, I mean, I don't know if some people like it, but I just don't appreciate noise. I'm gonna lighten. Okay, preliminary guys, Pre preliminary. I'm gonna get my olive green and blue 
Just combine them. Okay? I'm gonna add white and burnt sienna. Okay, maybe more white and more blue. We want it to be muted like turquoise. I'm gonna add light brown to really mute that color. And white. Maybe this color. Okay. Let's try. I'm gonna create. Okay, that's too light. I'm gonna add black and blue. I'm gonna, let's create some depth. Actually, it's too light. I. Okay, maybe this works. All right, good. So I'm just gonna add. Some dark turquoise right here. I'll be adding some depth. Okay, I'm adding black to give it depth. A bit of dark colors. I'm getting some light blue. Okay. Like randomly applying some light blue colors here and there. Let's go back to doing some gray. So I'm using my white and black. Okay, but this time it will be more dominantly white. So I'll be getting my light gray. And I'll be applying, I'll be using a uh, relatively watered down paint to really um, get that smoother. Uh, effect on the waters
So I'm just using Y, by the way. If you're ask, if you're curious. As I told you, it will be quite uh, noisy <laughs> because of the traffic. Now I'm getting my dark browns. Let's go back to brown and black. Brown and black. I'm gonna create a little bit of um, uh, like darkening. I'm just gonna darken this area using that color. Okay, later it will make sense. For now, let's just let's just do this. Just gonna fill in the space that okay, using some light brown. Right here. It's quite abstractish, you know. You know what? I'm just gonna let go. I'm just gonna surprise myself. Uh, what hap What will happen to this painting? Because I really don't know how it's gonna end. <laughs> I 
add some more water effect. The more abstractish the background is, the more water movement we get. We're like 60% there. I may be not even 60%, maybe 50. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown. I'm going to create a little bit of depth in the waters. So I'm just using brown and black. Just to let you know, I mean, while I'm painting, I am actually watching my favorite cartoon. I'm watching Peppa Pig. I don't know if you're watching that, but I love Peppa Pig. It's just an, uh, a very, you know, peaceful thing to watch. Just me watching this piglet. It is so cute. I always watch that just to let you know what I'm watching <laughs> because um, I'm not really a fan of watching um, drama or even action films except Mar except uh, Marvel or Avengers except that that is totally an exception to the rule but I watch kids shows, by the way, because it makes my, you know, it gives me peace and relaxes my brain. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just adding more black dots right here. Okay, and now I'm gonna darken this part. It's really abstractish at this time, but trust me, Trust me, it will make sense later. Okay. I haven't really checked it. Okay, okay, so it's now making sense. I can tell. Okay, but we have to wait, all right? Okay, I'll be adding more depth.
and just because I'm watching um, cartoons um, doesn't mean I cannot watch you know more like adult <laughs> no 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 not adult I mean more like not so for kids like yeah I can watch those but I mean in general I would watch kids shows makes me happy all right I'm gonna get more black oops sorry so just black In a few minutes, we're going to get into the details. So using white, I'll be more careful this time since we will be doing details now. I'll be using more water than usual because if you don't you know you're not gonna be able to create that watery effect at least for me that's what I believe really so I'm just using white but I'm using more water than usual and create some water markings on certain areas so that I make the water look like water. can see I'm using a lot of water okay now since I already have my white here I'm just gonna use it to highlight the head of okay it's too uh, too white highlight the head of the dolphin So right here. Some markings. gonna make some markings you can use palette knife here but for now I'm just gonna use my paintbrush these are just markings it's very abstract ish but the totality of the look will make sense
I'm gonna get my black. So I need to like draw. Eyes. Oops, I'm so sorry. Another noise making thing. It's the fire alarm. They're actually testing it from time to time. <laughs> what a perfect timing, really. And here goes the the ambulance noise. Anyway, just focus on the painting. <laughs> so I'm gonna darken some areas of the face, and also to give uh, the dolphin's face dimension, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and I'm gonna highlight the mouth to make it really suggestive of pouty mouth. Just applying some grace. Okay, using a smaller brush. apply some highlights here and there I'm just reshaping the mouth. Just reshaped it. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna use okay, some light browns. So get your light brown and I'm just gonna make some um, glazing on top of the head on the head to make it more glossy or to make it look more glossy glossy what am I saying <laughs> Right. 
just like that. Let me check. Oh, nice. But we will add more details on the water. Okay, this is white. I'll be using my palette knife soon. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my palette knife. Oh wait, wait, before I use my palette knife, I'm gonna glaze over the water part with some gray. So I'll be getting my white and black plus the green color that we have here, the blue-green color. So it's like this. I'll be using more water. I know that I've been using techniques after techniques, but this is how we learn. Okay, I'm now applying it right on top of the water. I'm not really painting over it. I'm just trying to glaze it. with this color okay. and I'm using white Just, oops, where did I get that brown color? Adding more of that. Okay. Okay, black, green, and blue.
Now, let's use our palette knife. I'll be using the back of my palette knife, dab onto my white, okay? And I'm gonna use this to create some um, movement or indication of movement. Okay, still using white. So by using more water, I'm trying to soften the, the paint to look more watery. I'll be adding some more light browns. And some browns.
I'll be getting some watered down browns and I'm just gonna glaze it over here very very lightly Let me check. Right. I'll be adding more water effect. some browns Okay, now I'm going to make some little highlights on the dolphin.
excuse me. I think someone remembered me. Can you give me a number? <laughs> someone remembered me, I think. Adding some browns. Tiny hint of white right there on the eyes. Some more black detailing. I'm just glazing it with some black. I'm using some light browns, make some dots to suggest um, what they call that distorted reflections in the waters. I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow just to make this part quite yellowish, not too much. Right, just like that. Also right here. I'm gonna make a little bit of yellow. Not too much, very subtle. Let me check. Okay.
I'm gonna get my water and and white water and white just add more of effect Okay, I'm gonna glaze it again, the dolphin with some light browns to make it really more uh, highlighted. Just glazing it, we're not really painting over it. Now using pure white it's gonna make a little bit of highlights mm -hmm. just like that here let me check this is nice right this is nice oh my gosh so I'm gonna gray a little bit the farthest waters so I'm just gonna get get my black water down just to grade a bit I'm not gonna be overdoing it I just want to make it a little bit of gray to give it more perspective Just a bit. All right, just like that. Okay, and then using more white, lightening this part. Let me check. This is way better. Okay, now let me just do a little more palette knifing and get some white. Oops, that is actually my fault. Sorry about that.
-hmm. Absolutely nice. I love it. I'm just going to make a little more detailing, tiny bit. Just like that. Very subtle. Face. Okay. Right. This is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now. I think it's good. So using my black, I'm just gonna sign maybe right here because this area is already busy so to balance it out I'm just gonna sign right here pretty challenging painting tutorial today but i think that was good so i hope you enjoy this one and i hope you do this one as well if you're painting along with me let me know in the comment section below or just tag me on your post or message me on facebook or instagram let me know if you're painting along with me and let me know what you want to paint or what you want me to paint next. So see you in my next video and have a lovely weekend. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you.